Hello guys, welcome to another edition of Tips for Dummies. Today um, I'll be working on this uh, Cadillac, 2002 Cadillac, um, on the fuel pump. Uh, the fuel pump has been changed before. Um, however, this time the fuel tank is completely full and I was not able to get the gas uh, out. So I'm going to take a different route. I want to see if we, by cutting a hole to the top, we can change it and save time. So uh, in the other uh, videos that I've seen so far, they pretty much look similar. So it's uh, the fuel pump is supposed to be located on the uh, driver's side on the back seat. So you pick it up and <clears throat> it's pretty much on this area right here. So what I'm going to do is you're gonna, I'm going to take this out. I'll take this bolt out. And what we do is we're going to cut the, uh, the carpet. Uh, kind of like following this uh, line. Uh, this so that we can bend it up. And the one on the bottom, you know, so that we can bend it uh, the opposite side. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I cut this along the sides and I'm going to put the carpet and run it through here. Just like that. Just for now. And I'm also going to cut this along this side so that way we can bend the other one the other way. Just like that. As long as you don't pass this, everything will be under the seat. So we'll, I'll be back with you. Now I got this other side. I'm gonna bend it. Now we got this uh, foam, which we're gonna cut it to. The pad. We're gonna bend it out. See? Now we're gonna get the other side. guys so before i make a big cut in here i want to i want to be 100 percent sure that the uh, uh, fuel pump it's around there and i'm going to be able to take it off so i'm going to make a little square and that's the, that's the square that i make Right here so that way I can bend this and I'm gonna find out if the fuel pump is somewhere around here and yes all right, I don't know if you can see it. I can see through there, but the fuel pump, it's right in there. All right, it's right in there. So I'm gonna continue cutting here, pretty much up to right here. 
and then this way and also I'm gonna cut probably right here right next to the uh, bolt like right here and here uh, so that way I can clear out the uh, the um, fuel pump so that way it can come out all right so let's do it <laughs> Alright guys, so so far I've got the uh, too far uh, made a square I don't know about four or five inches so I want to see if that's enough I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to bend it let's see what happens okay Look guys, so I think the square that I made, it's right, just the right size. Um, I'm gonna give you the uh, measurements more or less on uh, how to take the measurements so that way you know where to cut uh, later on. But so yeah, I made this bend. I'm just gonna bend it up a little bit more, probably with a hammer. And uh, we're ready to, uh, start uh, uh taking the uh, pump out it only took a few minutes uh, it's unbelievable easy i don't know uh i was thinking maybe to put a reinforcement metal right here so that way this thing won't bend back down uh, i'll think about it uh, but if i do i'll show you how i am going to do it all right so Let's get it done. I'm just gonna bend this back up. So I'm just gonna give them a couple of bends. I don't really wanna cut more, so I'm gonna try to keep bending this until I get the desired uh, bend. All right, guys, take a look at this. It's a perfect square. I think I think there is enough space right there to take the uh, um, fuel pump out and uh, you know that's pretty good I think I just got the uh, the right uh, cut and the right everything so the metal is bent all we have to do is just disconnect the fuel lines but before I do that I'm gonna clean the uh, the pump real good with a vacuum cleaner uh, before disconnecting and removing everything else. All right, so let me do that. Hey guys, so uh, the square I uh, made it uh, six inches by six. It's six by six. It's a square. So six, well, six, six, six and a half. Try to go six and a half. That'll be good. Um, that'll be more than, than enough to uh, uh, 
to cut. Now, um, where to begin this cut right here? Well, I want to say that if you put your tape measure right in here, it'll be six inches, six inches down. And then from the tube, from the bar, that's uh, about two and three quarters, okay? Two and three quarters. That's where you're gonna begin your, your uh, hole. Six inch, six inch, six inch, six inch. All right, so next I'm gonna clean the, uh, the uh, pump with a vacuum cleaner. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm just cleaning the uh, pump just to try to get all as much as, as much dust as possible from there. And now we're ready to continue to do do the rest. Uh, the next thing is going to be to pop up the uh, the uh, uh, fuel hoses. As you can see, it has this clip, and when you push it on both sides, and then that thing is what will pop out. Okay. Mm, a lot, uh, there is some fuel there is going to come out. That's for sure. Okay. But uh, let's try it. So I got it unlocked and I'll hit to just push it back. This is already unlocked. It's just a matter of unlocking it. I got it out I got this line so no fuel didn't came out because um, the, pu the fuel pump went out the fuel pump went out and the pressure went out as I was trying to uh, push it so we're gonna do the same thing with the other one we gotta press on both sides and then we kind of pull it from here. Remember, uh, the uh, space is a little bit limited, but it's doable. See, once you got it out, you have to, uh, just push it out. It came out. I got two fuel lines out. Two down to go. All right, it's a little fuel. Be careful with that. Now we have to worry about disconnecting the uh, switches. And this, the way what the way you do, is so we pull this out and disconnect. All right, that's for the uh, sensor. Yeah, uh, forgot to tell you. Uh, the metal it's a little bit sharp I have a couple of cuts already so be careful with that I forgot to tell you I already got a cut on my arm and that but it doesn't bother me and for the last thing this is this is a sensor it's already disconnected this so now we got to disconnect this other uh, 
these other poppy right here. All right. And let me figure it out. All right, guys. So this is kind of like a switch that it holds it in place. Kind of pop that out. Yeah, kind of like that. And this is supposed to is supposed to come out. So once you get the clip off, once you get this clip off, try to put a screwdriver in here and pull it. See, it has this little clip. And we're out, we're completely. We're completely done with, with this. I'm gonna put this aside apart. And the only thing we got left is just to remove the uh, fuel pump, the old fuel pump, the electrical wiring. I gotta check the electrical wiring because uh, the um, gas gauge was not working. So uh, the first thing we gotta do uh, is that we have to unlock this to be able to move. Okay, so now, uh, well, we have to remove the the clip. I mean, the uh, the pump, which is this. Uh, you can get a screwdriver. clip it has to be it has to be like that to be able to move so we're gonna need two screwdrivers one to hold it there and the other one to bank at least to pass that clip then we're good okay I'll be right back so uh believe it or not I was able to move the uh, the uh, handle with my hand and I passed that little clip right here this one it has to be past that so that way we can keep uh, moving and boom that's it pump out this is how easy it is by doing this route now I'm gonna take the ring off and uh, being very careful I'm gonna remove the uh, the pump all right it has a uh, it has the uh, the arm to measure the gas so kind of like bend it like that so that when and then you get it out and it's out and as you can see it's full of gas I get my phone before it fails. But uh, look how much gas this thing has. It was gonna be a real hassle to try to take the tank off without the proper tools, guys. Guys, before I install the new one, I wanna give a little clean, clean up in here, really good. Here, that's where the gasket sits right in here and uh you want it clean so that way yeah okay i'm gonna double check the wiring on this and i just want to know why i'm checking the wiring because it wasn't working so i got the new uh the new fuel pump It is. It's a new pump pump. Bought it online. It wasn't expensive at all. 
I try to buy one that it has warranty. Uh, a cheap one, but with warranty, that means if they offering warranty, that means that they are expecting this thing to last a little. Okay. In the meantime, that I work on the the work on uh, the new fuel pump i'm gonna put a little piece of paper right there to prevent the stuff from falling falling down now we got the uh the new uh pump all right it's brand new before we do anything else to this i uh we want to put the gasket on all right so this thing comes with a new gasket and the gasket is in here and the way you, you put it on is this way you see the tube you put it this way and this is the gasket all right right here uh before we continue make sure all the wiring it's okay and here that everything looks good and then you know this uh, uh this thing comes with uh new uh, uh pigtail am i gonna be using it i don't know uh if the uh um uh, gauge doesn't work i might i might change them just for the hell of it right i don't know uh now it's time to put the uh the leveler i want you to see this little pin and this hole guys this is important this is gonna go right there all right and then you're gonna push this and it locks in place all right so now we have the leveler ready to work okay so now we have to take the uh, plastic from there and install it inside the uh, tank. We're gonna unpack this. Okay. Make sure you don't put too much pressure on this because that's kind of sensitive. All right, so now it's time to put the, uh, the fuel pump inside the uh, the tank all right guys i'm gonna remove this and i clean this just one more time all right and i'm gonna bring the pump back in look look what i'm doing i'm gonna push i'm gonna bring the floater first so that we don't put any pressure on it. I hope you saw that. But I had to put it on an angle. So that way we don't put any pressure on Okay. And uh it's in. All right. Pretty much put it straight the way it was. And uh, now we're ready to put the, uh, the lock. Uh, I want you to see this little notch right here. It has to match that notch. Exactly like that. And you know that you have it right by having that notch there. And I'm gonna put the uh, clamp and again I'm gonna try to match the uh, 
the notch. And so, uh, yeah, so, um, we gotta find the uh, correct, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so this is it. Once we have it in there, we have to push it the opposite side. Okay, I got one corner right here pretty good. And I'm gonna try to insert it. Then I'm gonna come over right here. And it moved. It moved again. So, here it goes. Here it goes again. I'm gonna try it. First, we're going to try it from here. And I got it. All right. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to lock it pretty good. All right. So now it's locked. Now it's locked. Okay. Okay, we're gonna remove the, uh, this little, well, not yet. Uh, I'm gonna make the connections. First, I'm gonna make the connection for this. Then I'm gonna make the connection for the yeah, pump itself okay I don't, i'm not gonna lock it because i want to test it first now we gotta remove the uh pins from the old uh, pump and install them right here to remove these guys it's real easy all you have to do is pop this thing up on both sides easy so that way you don't break them Try to bring it out. Let's see if it. Okay, so I got this one out, and uh, all you do is slide it onto the other one. Yeah, just like that. Same thing with the, the other one. I'm just going to slide it in. Okay, and now all we have to do is push the gas lines. Where's the other one? You got hitting right here. Okay. So I got one right here, slide it in, match the uh, locking pins, match, and push it, and got one. Same thing with the other one, slide it in, match the, uh, the pins.
and push it in and it's ready guys believe it or not the fuel pump it's installed it actually the whole installation it took less than one hour uh, it's real easy now I'm gonna test it try it on and let's see what happens Yep, it started on the second one, and not only that, I'm so happy that my gauge worked. My gauge actually worked. It wasn't working. I had a hard time with that problem, but this time, and you know what? Last time we changed the fuel pump just for that but I guess something was wrong we had to remove the uh, uh, the whole tank and uh, you probably if I have a video of this when I removed the pump and the uh, tank was uh, half full and I had a hassle uh, doing this now this is a much easier way not only that uh, if I, I use this for travel so if I'm traveling, uh, I can uh, just do this, whatever I get stuck, if I find the pump. Uh, probably takes me about an hour to do it, and I'm up and ready again on the road. This it should have last for a long time, but hey guys, we're completed the job. Now, um, tomorrow I'm gonna show you uh, Tomorrow I'm gonna show you how uh, how I'm gonna seal this. Uh, all right. I I do want to get into the hassle of uh, putting a metal. I want to put a metal right here uh, from side to side, uh, and then. Probably with uh, two bolts, so that way it will be it will be bolted. Just to prevent this to, to going down for any reasons you may think. So tomorrow I'm gonna bring a piece of uh, metal, and that piece of metal it has to be at least. It has to be no okay it's gotta be from here okay all right i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to bolt it right here it's gonna be the metal is gonna be let me see it's gonna be nine inches the first bolt i'm gonna put it from the edge at uh half inch yeah, half inch and the other one I'm gonna put it at uh, probably eight inches half inch eight inches all right guys so I'm gonna show you tomorrow how to work on that all right guys so forgot to mention since this thing worked I'm gonna put the uh, locking locking pin on this yeah that prevents from that thing to come out we got it done. This is a much easier way to do it, guys. Believe me. And if you're planning on keeping this thing for a long time, you might want to have that thing in case that thing goes out again. Okay. So by holding this really tight down, I'm going to mark...
where I want the holes to be easy. Even though it's kind of far down, you don't want to go too far down to damage the uh, gas lines, okay? Once I got this pilot, I can do it without the, uh, the bar. And then right here. All right, that was just some pilot holes. So that way I can make the right holes for the right side. And I got the uh, bolts right here that I purchased, which is their, their quarter inch. And uh, I just uh, wanna make sure the hole that I'm making is not bigger than the uh, uh, the bolt itself but I do want it a little bit bigger so that way I don't have any troubles uh, you know with a little minimum of, of uh, mistake so I'm gonna yep careful with that it goes fast my bad then another one right here. Remember the tank is made out of plastic. You can easily make a hole. Okay, it's pretty deep, but still. Gotta go easy. So I think I was safe. Now I'm gonna put the bolts with the bar, but before that, I'm gonna put a little bit of tiny bit of Loctite in here, which I don't have, but I'm gonna put paint. So, like I said, I got a little bit of uh, paint. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, a drop. Uh, like that that's to prevent from losing to get loose loose and uh, I shouldn't have any problems but I did have problems I didn't measure right and that really gets me really mad oh no I should have brought that thing a little bit more this way now I'm in big, big trouble because <laughs> I already made the holes. Wow. Wow. Oh no. So I'm going to have a uh, t uh, make a different uh, have to make a different decision. So now I'm going to have to make new holes for this. So that way it'll fit. Otherwise I'm screwed because there is a little bump in here that I didn't thought about it before so I should have took those measurements before too bad I didn't so let me go ahead and do that oh guys so I turned the uh, 
middle around and two of the holes match perfectly so I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna worry about it and uh, I'm just gonna bend this down and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna bend it first because I'm not gonna make a mistake again Now that it's bent, I'm gonna make two holes there. This is the one that I'm gonna use to make the threads for the bolts that is gonna hold this thing down. And you know what? I do wanna make it on the uh, on this pump so that way you can push it all the way down the way it's supposed to. All right. Okay. So I make uh, these two holes, I pushed it down and mine as well, I'm going to make the big holes for the screws. I don't have much to worry about it because the metal is down there. Oh, well you do have to worry about it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now I'm going to make the other one. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to push this back again so that way I can make the holes and the threads. Alright guys, so I'm going to make the holes for the threads, alright? I'm going to go easy again. See how far that, that goes. It doesn't go that far down, but still. Now the second hole. Now that's the, that worries me a little bit because I got the holes down there. So I'm gonna be extra careful in this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put this uh, hammer or this so that way if I uh, go, if my drill goes through, it hits the hammer first. You know what I'm saying? Gotta go easy. care on this one If I make a hole in those uh, plastic hoses, that's it. The whole job is ruined. Seems like if I touch the bottom.
the trick is just to do it kind of slow and bingo got it got it without damaging okay so now it's time for make the, the threads on both of them remember this is a quarter quarter inch 20 stick threads I could have gone with fine threads but it's all right whatever you, whatever you think it's good this these bolts is just to hold it in place that metal and then I'm gonna put silicone and then I'm gonna put tape and the whole job is is gonna be over Anyway, so I'm gonna make the threads on both sides, okay? So I'll come back with you. Okay guys, so I got the holes. I got everything down. I'm just gonna push this back down. In the way it's supposed to, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure with the hammer. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna put bolts on it. I'm gonna put those, those two bolts. Okay guys, so I got the uh, holes made up and I put a little bit of Loctite on, on the uh, bolts and I'm going to put the bolts in down, it should, okay, so I guess it was just a matter of not putting it the right way. Yes, so I'm gonna put a new bolt. I'm afraid I already damaged that one. Bolt got damaged. So now I'm gonna have to remove it. Now I'm gonna have to make threads again. Otherwise, sorry. Otherwise, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go nowhere. All right, I'll be. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I want you to take a look at this. I put two bolts. Now it's pretty good there. Uh, there's a little a little bump right here. I'm just gonna hammer it down. See? Just gonna hammer it down. I'm trying to cover the holes as much as I can. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum right here and I'm gonna put the uh, silicone on all the uh, edges. Uh, some people don't put silicone, but I, I, I will. I'm gonna put silicone. And then I'm going to put Gorilla Tape on top of it, and uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be the whole process. Uh, I'm just going to get this back a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to put some silicone. Uh, if this needs to be uh, reopened again, well, all you got to do is take the bolts, silicone out, boom, and, and, and no, no big of a deal. And bring the silicone. Okay, guys, so I'm going to already vacuum this thing. And like I mentioned it to you, I'm gonna put some silicone on the cracks. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna cover all the all the openings. That's to uh, prevent any uh, water leakage, you know. Like I say, if you need to open this thing again, well, with a really good uh, putty knife, you will be you, you you will be able to make it. I'm also gonna cover the bolts. I know that will make it hard to. To. Uh, reopen but then again with a good uh, um, knife or something you can just clean it out it will be much easier to do that job than to taking the tank off and 
and also you know I'm gonna go along the cut I made and make sure it's covered really good with your finger try to stick it in the, the cracks and also on this side So I believe it's all cover. This thing I'm gonna let it dry. And then after that, I'm gonna put the tape and the job is completely done. Guys, you know, you might wanna call it that I took with all the uh, silicone and all that about an hour and uh, 20 minutes all together, maybe. I spend more time just trying to get all the uh, equipment over here hey guys i just want to show you the final result i put the gorilla tape make sure it's the gorilla tape because uh, this is the one that it holds on pretty good it's really strong the other one is not has a tendency to come off all we have to do is put everything back everything back the carpet back and uh, make sure we put those uh, brackets on I put this on I don't remember what this is I never knew what it was but uh, I guess it's just to hold the cables or something find out man and as you can tell it doesn't see it looks like if nothing happens on it you put the seat back bingo that's it man the job is complete fuel pump replaced in less than 45 minutes um, without removing the tank it's pretty good seal and uh, you save tons of cash uh, hey guys make sure uh, you subscribe to my channel uh, so that way you don't miss this uh, awesome videos that I'm gonna be posting all right guys well this is a, a job done and I'll see you in the next